Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve and today it's a shotgun showdown, head to head. It's a Winchester SX4 semi-auto shotgun versus the brand new, recently released Beretta A300 Ultima. So if you wanna see which gun will win the shotgun showdown, you've come to the right place. Let's go. Now, if you've been watching my shotgun reviews, you may have seen me do the review on the Beretta A300 Outlander, which was promised to be the best value in semi-auto shotguns, coming in at a price point MSRP of $799. Well, that was a little bit of a challenge for me. There were some things I didn't like about that gun, so I'm really excited about the brand new Altima. I've done a full review on the shotgun if you wanna check that out, but today I'm gonna be comparing it head to head with the Winchester SX4, which is the shotgun that I've said for years is the best value in semi-auto shotguns with the MSRP of $829. Now it has a little higher MSRP, but what's interesting is when I looked at Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer, they actually had this shotgun, the same exact one, 28 inch, listed for $689, while they had the Beretta A300 Ultima listed for $749. So even though the Winchester has the higher MSRP, it was actually less expensive than the Ultima. Super excited about this, guys. Um, two great shotguns, but in the shotgun showdown, there can only be one winner. So let's dive right in. So first, let's take a look at the specs. These guns are both 12 gauges, both three inch chambered. They are both available in 28 inch barrels, only available in 28 inch barrels on the Ultima. While the Winchester does have some various options, 26 inch barrels available in a three and a half inch, available in 20 gauge. The Ultima is available in 20 gauge as well. The Winchester comes with three choke tubes, full modified improved cylinder, just flush mount chokes, nothing special. Same deal with the Beretta Ultima. I've replaced both the chokes on these guns. This runs the mobile choke system. The Winchester runs the Invector Plus. I've replaced them with some Carlson's cylinder choke tubes for today's side-by-side -side comparison. But one of the biggest difference when I look at specs between these two guns is actually the weight. The Ultima comes in at seven pounds, 10 ounces. Not extremely heavy, but a little bit heftier than the Winchester SX4. When you pick up this shotgun, you can just feel it. It's light, very light shotgun, seven pounds this gun comes in at. Both of these guns come out of the box, 14 and a quarter inch length of pull. Both of them have spacers that you can put in the rear on the butt to extend the length of pull. So I've already thrown a couple in this one. I have not done anything with the Ultima, because it's a brand new shotgun, but the Ultima does have some adjustability with the cast and the drop, where I don't believe the Winchester SX4 does have any adjustability there. As part of specs, I like to look at the trigger. The SX4 has a great trigger. There's very, there's like no travel. It's just a clean break. You pull that trigger and it breaks. The Ultima has a little bit of a sponginess to it. There's some travel there as you see, you can maybe see I'm moving the trigger. You gotta give it a little bit of a pull. It's got some travel before it breaks. But let's take my Wheeler Professional Digital Trigger Scale, throw it on these shotguns, see what the weight is. The Winchester SX4, five pounds, eight ounces. Let's try that again, getting a little quick average here. Five pounds, 2.5 ounces and four pounds, 14.6 ounces. That was a light one. So we're looking at an average with three pulls of five pounds, three ounces on the Winchester SX4. That's a nice light trigger for a shotgun. Let's check it out on the Ultima. Four pounds, 15.6 ounces. That's uh, extremely light. Four pounds, 13 ounces. Four pounds, 11 ounces. That's really interesting. Averaging four pounds, 13 ounces on the Ultima. That's a very light trigger. I like that a lot. I just wish that it wasn't so squishy to begin with before it breaks. Now, this SX4, I have a lot of rounds through it. 
thousands and thousands of rounds. I don't know how many exactly. That can actually change the trigger over time as those springs loosen up, it could lighten up. So this one might actually be a little bit heavier originally out of the box. So I am very impressed with the trigger of this shotgun as far as weight, but I still prefer as far as feel, which is very important as well, the trigger of the SX4. So when we look purely at the specs, this is a lighter shotgun, it has a better trigger. I gotta give the edge to the Winchester SX4, but there's a lot more to come. It's not just about the specs. We're gonna be testing a lot of different things. And if you wanna see any specific area between these two shotguns, you can check down below. We've broken it out, all the different segments. So make sure you check that out. Now taking a look at the ergonomics of these shotguns. I have a lot of experience with this gun, as I mentioned. I may be a little bit biased, so it's gonna be interesting to see if I can overcome the bias because I love the ergonomics on this shotgun. The grip, pistol grip, is a little bit narrower, easy to get my hands around. I love the grooves on the fore end. They feel great to rest your fingers on. It just fits well in the hand. Just like the Altima, it's hard plastic, right? It's a hard plastic, so if, as your hands get sweaty, it may get a little slippery. I love guns that have rubber overmolding, but we're talking about value shotguns. Under $800, you don't expect to see rubber overmoldings. Uh, nothing fancy there, but I definitely enjoy the feel of this shotgun. I love the controls, oversized bolt handle, oversized bolt release, oversized trigger guard. Very easy to access safety. Love that. The loading port leaves something to be desired. It's not milled out at all, kind of sharp edges. I don't love that piece. Um, when I look at the stock of this gun, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy about this stock at all, but it does have the nice inflex recoil pad. Looking at the Ultima, A300 Ultima. Just when I grab this gun, it doesn't feel nearly as natural to me. That can be because I got a lot of experience with that. Pistol grip is a little bit wider. I don't love that. I don't love the grip either on this shotgun. It's not bad. I can shoot it just fine. It's just, I really prefer what's going on with the Winchester SX4. Now, as we look at the controllers, however, the bolt handle is nice and large on this, easy to grab. The bolt release is simple. I mean, you can slap it with your pinky. See how easy that is to close? Now, the trigger guard is not oversized. It's a little bit smaller than the Winchester, and it has a cross bolt safety on the front. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan. I don't love cross bolt safeties on the front. You hear me talk about that in the videos, on the shotgun reviews that I do, um, but a slight difference there. But the stock is really cool on this shotgun. It has a kickoff recoil reduction system. As you can see, there's a groove there, and then it's got a really squishy kickoff pad. And when you shoot it, as we will do here shortly, you actually feel like a two-stage impulse uh, helping absorb recoil. It also has a nicer kind of rubber comb on the top of it. I appreciate that. Both these shotguns have fiber optic beads. It's a little bit larger on the Beretta. Not a huge fan of big fiber sights. If you watch my videos, you know that, but it also has a mid bead. I think that's great for helping you see how you're mounting, how you're lining up the shotgun. The Winchester does not have a mid bead. So breaking it down to ergonomics, this is really tough for me, guys. I don't wanna be biased, but purely based on ergonomics, the Winchester has nice controls, it has great grips, feels awesome in the hands, but the Beretta has this milled out loading port, has great controls as well, has a nicer stock in my opinion. Ever so slight edge to the Winchester SX4. Might be my bias, but I gotta give it an edge. When we're looking at other variations of these shotguns, the Ultima comes in the black synthetic, bottom land and max five. 12 gauge or 20 gauge, 28 inch barrel. The Winchester has so many more options. Whether it's a black synthetic, whether it's any camo pattern you can just about think of, hybrid camo hunters that have a combination of Cerakote and camo, whether it's compact, whether it's turkey or cantilever buck guns, Winchester SX4 has a lot of options, also available in 20 gauge and three and a half inch. So as far as other variations, if you need them, Winchester SX4 definitely has the edge there. Now taking a look at the quality of build, I'm looking at how everything comes together, materials used, that type of thing in light of the price point. Now, nothing fancy as far as the stock, nothing fancy as far as the forearm, fore end, 
ergonomics are nice. We've already talked about that. Uh, materials used, run of the mill. I mean, nothing fancy about these shotguns, but what these shotguns are known for as being workhorses at a great price point, and they function amazingly. We're gonna put that to the test here in a little bit, but I have no issues with the SX4. Everything comes together nice. Um, there's maybe just a little slop in the forend. The Beretta, as far as quality of build, I, I like the receiver a lot. I think that looks nice the way they finished that out. Everything comes together nice, no slop. They're neck and neck. If I gotta give an edge, I'm going with the A300. I think they did a really nice job with the quality of build. I know I talked about it in ergonomics, but that milled out loading port, uh, the finish of the receiver, slight edge to the Beretta A300 Ultima. All right, folks, if you've made it this far, Congratulations, because it's just about to get interesting. We're looking at recoil and reliability. I want to see how well these guns cycle, the light target loads, ounce and an eighth, top gun, eight shot from Federal. Let's take the Ultima, just pop off three rounds. Okay, that felt pretty good. That's one thing I'm not a huge fan of with the Ultima, is you have to push that lever in order for it to put shells into the chamber. Uh, the reason they do that is so that you can unload the chamber without unloading the magazine. That's a fine feature. I don't necessarily love it. Let's do three more rounds real quick. As far as recoil, feels really good. Takes it into the shoulder well, maybe a little bit more muzzle rise, muzzle jump than I would prefer. Maybe take it into the face slightly more than I'd prefer. But overall, if you're nice and tight on the stock, it feels really good can definitely feel that recoil pad working. Very light recoil for a 12 gauge shotgun. Definitely like it. One more test. I'm gonna try to shoot with the gun upside down over my head and see if it'll recoil. Stove pipe. Okay, last one didn't eject, but we did get a good cycle. Now why in the world would I test it over my head? Does anyone shoot like that? Other than me and a few other folks, not really. But the reason I like to test it, there it eject the last one. So it's cycling, not super consistently. The reason I like to test over the head because if it shoots over the head, it's gonna operate flawlessly from the shoulder and it's a good comparison point. Will the Winchester SX4 do it? Now this gun might be slightly dirtier uh, because this is actually one of my practice guns for exhibitions. Let's try it out. No problem there over the head. Let's try it from the shoulder. I gotta do a side-by-side -side comparison on recoil here because I've always said the Winchester SX4 is one of the lightest recoiling 12 gauges. Whew, this is gonna be a close one, folks. Could the Altima dethrone at least in my opinion, the Winchester SX4 as the lightest recoiling 12 gauge. That is close. That is close. I need to do one more shot out of each one. I do love the bolt release on that Ultima. That feels so good. Okay. They feel so different. That Ultima has that two stage pulse. You can really feel it taking the recoil this might be the hardest decision I've had to make on light recoil. Last one. It's a Winchester SX4 by a slight margin, very, very slight margin. It has less recoil up into the face. It's more comfortable to shoot. It's slight, like I mentioned. I don't know if I care for the impulse, the two-stage impulse on the Ultima. But it does have light recoil, but it feels a little bit different in my face. Could be the bias, could be that I'm very comfortable, familiar shooting this shotgun, but slight edge to the Winchester SX4 on reliability and on recoil. Now we're gonna break both these shotguns down, see how many moving pieces they have and how fast I can break them down on the clock, starting with the Winchester SX4. Ready, set, go. Four end cap. Come on, come on, come on. Move fingers is off, forend off. Barrel, oh, stuck on there a little bit. Piston, piston sleeve, spring, 
Now we have to take off the trigger guard, trigger group, two pins. Oh, come on. Pins can be a struggle. There we go. Pins are off. Trigger guard off, bolt handle off, bolt off, stop. 34.15 seconds, this Winchester SX4 is broken down, ready to clean. Now, again, in full disclosure, I've done this a lot of times. I've broke this gun down many, many times, very familiar, so I'm curious to see if I can get even a little faster with the Ultima, a gun that I haven't broken down many, many times. This gun slaps back together fairly quick. Hardest part of the Winchester SX4 is getting these pins back in the right spot. Sometimes the hardest part is actually finding the pins. Where did you set them? There we go. Those are back in. Reverse order, spring, piston sleeve, piston, barrel, back on, fore end screwed back on. Ready to get back at it. Not too complicated. Several moving pieces there. Let's see if we can get a little bit faster on the Altima. See if I can beat 34.15. Now there's some tricky things with the Altima that I've discovered taking it apart a few times. Ready, set, go. Okay, so far a lot the same. Oh, that's off. Forearms off. Piston goes with that. Now we gotta take out the bolt handle. The bolts and that come together. We got one pin. Oh! Oh no. Oh, we're falling apart here. This one pin is giving me trouble. Lucky I got my two by four here, folks. One pin out. Stop. 37.98. You know, if it wasn't for the one pin, I think I would have been faster. It's a brand new gun, that one pin's a little bit of a bugger. Lucky I had a two by four as my hammer. Now let's put it back together. I'm actually gonna change the order a little bit. And you'll see here, the bolt, which breaks apart to two pieces, as does the Winchester SX4. And this sleeve actually has to connect to the bolt on the side there as you put it on. This is probably one of the more complicated pieces of putting the shotgun back together. And then we gotta make sure the tail of the bolt goes into the plunger. There's a little tab on the bolt handle. That has to be facing rearward on the shotgun. Okay, that's in, that's good to go. I love the single pin, even though the pin was hard to get out. Cause it just falls right into place. Ah! Oh! Not the recommended way of doing it. <laughs> but a two by four works. That's back, back together. I do love about this shotgun how the piston is all attached to the barrel. So then that can just slide on. A few less pieces than the Winchester SX4. And the fore end cap right back on. The Ultima is good to go. So as far as breakdown, ease of cleaning, you saw it. I was quicker with the SX4, but I gotta give a slight edge to the Ultima because it's a little bit simpler, doesn't have as many moving pieces. Once that pin loosens up maybe a little bit, it will be easier, but that was the only real struggle with this shotgun. So breakdown and simplicity, I like the Ultima. Now, I think it's gonna come down to this, folks. Speed shooting. How fast can I break three clays with individual shots on the clock? Now, I did the review of the Ultima, and I was able to shoot a 1-1-2. One, one, a 1-1-2, one, one, so I'm not gonna try to replicate that because that's one of my fastest times with any semi-auto shotgun. But I will try to see if I can beat it with the SX-4. If I can't beat it, that might be a huge determining factor on which one I declare the winner of the shotgun showdown. So let's grab the SX-4. We're going three shots. Top gun target loads, ounce and an eighth, on the clock. Oh man, that felt so good. But it was a one, two, three. Gotta get faster if I'm gonna beat that Ultima. One, one, seven. It's 
close guys, but I'm working. It did not take me long. That was a big thing. It didn't take me long with the Ultima, a brand new gun to get to a 112. Guys, that was a 124. Fastest time was a 117. I tried a lot. I got a 117, but that's my fastest time. What I'm most impressed with, this is a brand new gun. I got thousands and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands probably through the SX4. I got four boxes of shells through this. And I was able to shoot it faster, which is gonna make me choosing a winner very, very difficult. I love the ergonomics of the SX4. I love where the safety's at. Great overall gun. It's a little bit lighter than this gun, but I love the Ultima. I love the controls, I love the loading port. Don't care for the safety. Didn't care for the trigger. Thought it had a little bit more recoil, but I shot it faster. I shot it better. And this is a gun I know well. So how do I choose a winner? What's it gonna come down to? At the end of the day, I think they're both great guns. I love the options that Winchester has in the SX4. I love how light this gun is. This Ultima, I don't care for the grips, but it's a fast gun. It works well. I shot it fast. What can I say? For this shotgun showdown, I can only choose one winner. And even though I prefer the grip and feel of this one, if I can shoot faster, I gotta go with the Ultima for the shotgun showdown. First, the Winchester SX4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Is there any other shotguns you'd like to see me put the Ultima or the SX4 up head to head with? Comment down below, let me know. And remember guys, whether we're in the field or in life, it's only those targets that we're laser focused on that we're gonna hit. So live target focused. See ya.